Sixth grade, unit one, lesson 16. Distinguishing between surface area and volume. Number one, match each quantity with an appropriate unit of measurement. A, the surface area of a tissue box. Since they're asking for surface area and not volume or length, I need to look for something that's squared. I would pick five square centimeters rather than number one square meters because a tissue box isn't large enough to measure in square meters. A tissue box is best represented in centimeters. B. The amount of soil in a planter box. Since they're referring to the amount of soil that would fit inside a planter box, I need to look for a cubic measurement, either cubic inches or cubic feet. Since I don't know the size of the planter box, I don't know if I should select cubic feet or cubic inches, but I notice E, the volume of a fish tank. I also don't know the size of the fish tank. So a planter box and a fish tank can both be large or small. So I can select the same answers for B and E. B can be three or four cubic inches or cubic feet, and so can E, the volume of a fish tank can be cubic inches or cubic feet. If it were a larger planter box, cubic feet would be a better representation of the amount of soil that could fit inside the planter box. If it were a small planter box, perhaps cubic inches might better represent the amount of soil in a planter box. C. The area of a parking lot. I'm looking for the area of a parking lot, so that's going to be two-dimensional, like length times width or base times height. Since that's two-dimensional, I'm going to be looking for a square measurement, like number one, square meters. Square meters is better suited for a parking lot because meters are much larger than centimeters. Centimeters are better suited for measuring a tissue box, and meters are better suited for measuring a parking lot. And finally, D, the length of a soccer field. A length is one dimensional. So we're looking for one type of unit measurement, like yards. Oftentimes the length of a soccer field or the length of a football field is identified in yards. It would be ridiculous to identify the length of a soccer field in centimeters or the length of a soccer field in miles, but yards make sense. Number two, here's a figure built from snap cubes. A, find the volume of the figure in cubic units. We don't know what kind of units, like we don't know if these are inch cubes or centimeter cubes, for example, but we do know that they're cubes. So we're gonna call them unit cubes. The volume of one of these cubes is called one cubic unit. So we can tell just by looking that there's four cubes, so the answer is going to be four cubic units. However, we can multiply the width times the length times the height to get the volume. The width is one unit, the length is one unit, and the height is four units. One times one times four equals four cubic units. The volume of this figure is four cubic units. B. Find the surface area of the figure in square units. The surface area is the total of all the surfaces base times height. From this angle, we can see a base of one square unit that's represented with the blue top. There is a matching one square unit at the bottom. We can't see it from this angle. The green front section is four square units Directly behind the green front is a back that is also four square units. The yellow left side is four square units. Directly behind the left side is the right side that is also four square units. The base is one plus one plus the sides four plus four plus four plus four equals 18. The surface area of this figure is 18 square units. Here's another way to look at it. You have your net with the top base and the bottom base, and you have all your sides. The total of the sides equals 16 square units, plus the top base and the bottom base 
for a total of 18 square units. And here's even another way to look at it. You have your height of 4, and then you have your 4 sides, so 4 times 4, and you have your two bases at 2 times 1. 4 times 4 is 16, 2 times 1 is 2, 16 plus 2 is 18. The total surface area is 18 square units. And even another look, base 1 and base 2, they're each one square unit. You have the green front, which is worth four square units, the left side yellow, which is worth another four square units, the right side, which would be worth another four square units, the back side that would be worth another four square units. No matter which way you do it, the total surface area of this figure is 18 square units. C. True or false, if we double the number of cubes being stacked, both the volume and the surface area will double. Explain or show how you know. The original volume was 4 square units. Doubling the amount stacked doubled the volume to 8 square units. The statement is true in terms of the volume. The original stack on the left, the doubled stack on the right. The surface area of this section of the original stack is 16 square units. The doubled stack is 16 square units plus 16 square units. The original stack was 16 square units plus the two bases. The doubled stack is 16 square units plus 16 square units plus the two bases. Notice that the two bases didn't double. So the total surface area of the original stack was 18 square units and the total surface area of the doubled stack is 34 square units. Double 18 is 36, not 34. The statement is false in terms of surface area. Number three, Lynn said, two figures with the same volume also have the same surface area. A, which two figures suggest that her statement is true? Figures B and C suggest that her statement is true. Both of these figures have volumes of 6 cubic units, and both of these figures have surface areas of 24 square units. B. Which two figures could show that her statement is not true? Figures A and B show that her statement is not true. They have the same volumes, but different surface areas. The surface area for figure A is 26 square units, and the surface area for figure B is 24 square units. Number 4. Draw a pentagon, a five-sided polygon, that has an area of 32 square units. Label all relative sides or segments with their measurements and show that the area is 32 square units. When I think of a pentagon, I think of the government building that has five equal sides. It's called the pentagon. For me, this would be pretty difficult to draw with 32 square units, so I'm going to come up with a different shape that has five sides. What makes this shape easier for me is it's a square and a triangle. I'm going to decompose this shape into a square and a triangle and figure out the areas. Here's the square with side lengths of 4. The triangle has a base of 4 and a height of 8. I've labeled all the relevant sides or segments with their measurements. The area of the square shape is 16 square units because I multiplied the base times the height and 4 times 4 is 16. To find the area of the triangle, I'm going to multiply the base times the height, or 4 times 8. 4 times 8 is 32, and since it's a triangle, I need to divide that by 2. Half of 32 is 16. The area of this triangle is 16 square units. Combine the area of these two shapes, and you'll have the entire surface area of the pentagon. 16 plus 16 is 32. The area of the pentagon is 32 square units. Number 5. A. Draw a net for this rectangular prism. 
Here's the net for the rectangular prism. It has the top, the back, the bottom, the front, the right side, and the left side. B. Find the surface area of the rectangular prism. The surface area of the top is 50 square centimeters, the bottom is 50 square centimeters, the front and the back are 20 square centimeters each, and the right side and the left side are 10 square centimeters each. The total area of all of these sides combined will be the surface area of the rectangular prism. The surface area of the rectangular prism is 160 square centimeters.